hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to talk about a common issue faced by many e-app users accidentally downloading files you already have specifically we will focus on verifying existing fc24 files to avoid unnecessary downloads so let's dive in first things first let's fire up the e-app log into the e account and navigate to the library section here you will see a list of files available for download. Then you select FC24. Now say you are about to download an FC24 file, but you have a sneaking suspicion that you already have it. Instead of risking another download, let's verify it. To verify the files, simply select it by clicking on download. Remove the folder containing the FC24 files to EA Games folder in Program Files directory. I want to verify my FC24 game files in my default directory, so I'm moving the folder containing the files there. You can choose a different location. Let's verify if the FC24 folder actually moved into the EA Games folder. So let's start the verification process. We select change on the install location in the FC24 download option. We select the C drive, go to a program files, EA Games and choose EA Sports FC24. Don't forget to select EA Sports FC24. If you need a different location for this process, you have to change the location to that game path and don't forget to select EA Sports FC24. If you don't select EA Sports FC24, it won't be possible. Select next and download. After clicking download, the EA app will scan your existing files to check if you already have the one you are trying to download. If your files are old, it will download the new files to make it up to date. If you check the bottom down left, you see that the operation is calculating time over a 47.71 GB. I'm using an NVMe drive, that's why it's very fast. The time may vary depending on the drive and the version of Windows you are using. This method will save you a redundant download. There you have it, by verifying files before downloading, you can prevent duplicate files on your drive and it saves time and bandwidth. Thanks for watching, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. See you in the next video, thank you.